I was thinking that uh, this Google AI Gemini would be a great listener because as was, an AI language uh, model, I'm always ready to listen questions. and provide information. Asking, if you're facing a problem or uh, need someone okay, to talk to, this, uh, feel free to share your no, thoughts with me. Uh, Here are some things you could ask me. AI. Ask for advice. It, uh, I can books, offer suggestions or perspectives on various books, topics. Uh, like Vent your feelings. Question or Sometimes simply expressing computer. your emotions can be helpful. Get information. I can provide you with facts or data related to your problem. Explore different options. We can brainstorm potential solutions to Thinking about a problems. That means I'm always available to listen to your problems or concerns. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. Feel free to share your thoughts and feelings with I thought that uh, it would be great that I want to test out if it can complete the task of like um, uh, talking about all stories of me and uh, once upon a time kind of story. And uh, it turns out that it's replying, replying in the sense that he, uh, he actually replied to give a kind of information set to tell you how to learn, how to perfect how to solve your problems kind of kind of reply uh, I want to talk to you about go ahead I'm listening what's on your mind Absolutely. I'd love to hear about your childhood stories. Please feel free to share as much detail as you'd like. And uh, I was thinking that uh, uh, reading books is easy. Actually, I just That's want a to wonderful talk about memory like to share. Like learning to read can be a challenging but rewarding experience. Learn, it's great that you found books that sparked your interest uh, reading and helped you. English books, like uh, imagine uh, I was Asian kids that learning started to learn reading books that started from six or seven years old, and I was uh, choosing books. Which books I uh, uh, that are simpler English? I was, I was, I was thinking how the writers of the English books really compose. A, That's a, a common experience for many and people because, learning to um, read. Kind of it can be overwhelming to encounter so many books. unfamiliar words. Uh, was, However, uh, was it's important to remember this kind of books. The words was uh, literally searching for dictionary. Each and every word because I do not know how to read English book. That's why I was talking to this AI. Uh, does uh, this AI can really help to help me to solve uh, this uh, kind of uh, simple question? That's a funny like, story. It sounds like you had a good laugh my, at your own expense. My, my story it's always nice to find humor in unexpected situations. I talk to have you found any good books to read lately? Uh, what Do you have any recommendations? Uh, would he give me? And uh, I just want to tell the story that... That's a shame. Have you tried checking out any local libraries or bookstores? They often have a wide variety... That sounds like a humorous anecdote. It's interesting to hear about your experiences with books and definitions. Have you found any books that you enjoy reading since then? Perhaps you could try looking for books on topics that... Uh, 
Uh, I will not, um... Uh... Go ahead, what's on your mind? That's a common experience for many people learning to read. It can be overwhelming to encounter so many unfamiliar words. However, it's important to remember that learning to read is a gradual process. Here are a few... Actually, uh, for, for all of you, uh, thank you for clicking have a this same video and story about not what? It Please clarify your statement so I can provide a more video. helpful response. And uh, the story about this thing is like... Uh, I I do not know how how good is this AI thing, but anyway, they are actually some kind of companion when you are you are alone, right? So that uh, especially and you can't find a friend like every that's new a friend common challenge talk about for many themselves. English learners. So it can be difficult to understand native speakers who speak When you look for quickly. a best friend, here are a few you tips that might help. Uh, we can't One, find a practice friend, listening to slow paced um, English in a short time. That's why you are looking your friends if that say the AI can be your friend. Anyway, uh, thanks to all of you who watched my video until the end of this video and looking for all the chat and it sounds uh, like you face some challenges. This, uh, specific when tasks uh, performed by this Gemini. Uh, if okay or not uh, with all the replies and uh, actually to let us discover what kind of chatbot is Gemini and I'm happy to continue our conversation and, what would you like uh, to talk about next what AI can do thanks every viewer wish thank you for the compliment I'm always and, striving um, to provide informative and uh, helpful responses please don't forget is there to any subscribe and continue to like and watch the video, all the videos at my channel. Okay, please subscribe. Thank you. Uh, the speed of you can listen to English. That's a common challenge for many English learners. It can be difficult to... That's a great analogy. Listening to English can definitely feel like a marathon, especially when you're first starting out. It's important to be patient with yourself and take breaks as needed. Here are a few more tips to help you improve your listening skills. Focus on keywords and phrases. Instead of trying to understand every word, focus on the main ideas and key points. Listen actively. Pay attention to the speaker's tone of voice. Okay. That's a great approach. Watching English movies and TV shows with subtitles can be a very effective way to improve your listening skills. By paying attention to the subtitles, you can learn how words are pronounced and when they are used in context. Here are a few more tips to help you get the most out of watching English media with subnotes. As you watch, you can take I notes on new words and phrases this. that you learn. It's like a uh, light in the end of the tunnel. That's a great approach. 
watching English movies and TV shows with subtitles can be a very effective way to improve your listening skills. By paying attention to the subtitle, Absolutely. I can handle long and complex questions. Feel free to ask me anything, no matter how long or detailed. As an AI language model, I don't have a limit on the number of pages of questions I can respond to. I can process and respond to text. But no, I think until that I find out that the songs are so trendy. That's a great way to learn English. Listening to. That's understandable. Sometimes, it can be difficult to focus on the lyrics when you're enjoying a catchy tune. However, there are still many ways to benefit from listening to English songs. That's great to hear. It's wonderful that you were able to improve your English listening skills by focusing on the lyrics of your favorite songs. It sounds like you've developed a passion for music. What genres do you enjoy listening to the most? Are there any particular artists or bands that you follow? I'd love to hear more about your musical interests. Oh, well, well, and maybe it's a bit too long, it doesn't reply. I apologize if my responses have been inadequate. I am still under development and am constantly learning and improving. I am always working on my ability to understand and respond to a wide range of prompts and questions, including those that are long, complex or ambiguous. Would you like to try asking me another question? 
Perhaps we can try a different approach. Please feel free to provide more context or information if you think it might help me understand your query better. I am committed to providing the best possible assistance. How to say, um... It's understandable to feel discouraged about learning English. Everyone learns at their own pace, and it can take time to see progress. However, there are many ways to learn English, and you may find that one method works better for you than another. Here are a few suggestions. Take an English class. This can be a great way to learn English in a structured environment. Find a language exchange partner. This can help you practice speaking. It's just a summary of, uh, just to tell you. That's a great story. That's great to hear. It's wonderful that you found learning to read relatively easy. Everyone learns at their own pace. And it's great that you were able to pick it up quickly. What do you think made it easier for you to learn to read? That's a great idea. Watching English TV shows can be a fun and effective way to learn the language. Ellen DeGeneres is a popular talk show host with a friendly and engaging style. Watching her show can help you get used to the rhythm and flow of spoken English. And you can also learn a lot about American culture. Here are some other tips for learning English through TV shows. Start with shows you enjoy. Choose shows that you find interesting and enjoyable. This will make it easier to stay motivated and focused. Watch with subtitles. This will help you understand what is being said, even if you don't catch every word. Repeat the lines. Try to repeat the lines of the actors in your head, or out loud. This will help you improve your pronunciation and fluency. Take notes. Write down new words and phrases that you learn. This will help you review and remember them later. Remember, learning a new language takes time and practice. Don't get... That's a great way to learn English. Watching English TV shows with subtitles can be a very effective way to improve your listening skills. By paying attention to the subtitles, you can learn how words are pronounced and when they are used in context. Here are a few more tips to help you get the most out of watching English media with subtitles. Start with easier shows. Begin with shows that you already know well or that have simple plots and dialogue. This will make it easier to follow the story and focus on the language. Watch the same show multiple times. Watching a show multiple times can help you get used to the language and identify patterns. Pause the video when needed. If you're having trouble understanding something, don't hesitate to pause the video and take a moment to think about what was said. Take note. That's a great approach. It's important to find books that are appropriate for your reading level. Starting with simpler books can help you build your confidence and gradually improve your reading skills. 
What kind of books do you enjoy reading? Are you interested in fiction, non-fiction, or a specific genre? I can help you find some recommendations based on your interests. That's a common experience for many English learners. It can be overwhelming to encounter complex vocabulary and grammar structures. However, it's important page that's a great approach it's important to focus on understanding the overall meaning of the text rather than getting bogged down by every single word sometimes even if you don't know every word you can still understand the general idea of what the author is saying this is a valuable skill that can help you become a more confident and effective reader have you tried reading books that you find interesting or enjoyable sometimes when you're interested in the topic it's easier to overlook unfamiliar words and focus on the overall story. Would you like to talk about some books that you might enjoy reading? That's a common feeling. Learning to read complex books can be a challenge but it's also a rewarding experience. Here are a few tips to help you improve your reading skills. Start with easier books. Begin with books that are appropriate for your reading level. As you become more comfortable, Uh, I'm still keep skipping some complicated books. That's a great approach. Focusing on books that interest you can make reading more enjoyable and engaging. Factual books can be a great way to learn about new topics and improve your understanding of the world. What kind of factual books do you enjoy reading? Mm. That's a common experience for many readers. While some people find non-fiction books easier to understand, others prefer fiction. It's all about personal preference. If you're struggling to read non-fiction books, don't give up. There are many ways to improve your reading skills. Here are a few tips. Start with easier books. It's been a pleasure chatting with you as well. I'm always happy to help in any way I can. If you have any other questions or requests, feel free to ask. Have a great day. As an AI language model, I don't have personal needs or experiences like humans. 
I don't require rest or breaks in the same way a human does. I'm always available to assist you and answer your questions. However, the developers and engineers who maintain and update me may take breaks or holidays. That's correct. As an AI language model, I don't have personal needs or experiences, like humans. I don't require rest or breaks in the same way a human does. I'm always available to assist you and answer your questions. However, the developers and engineers who maintain and update me may take breaks or holidays. If there are any significant disruptions to my service, you may receive a message or notice. As an AI language model, I don't have personal feelings or experiences. I'm simply designed to process information and respond to prompts in a way that is consistent with human language. However, I am always working to improve my abilities and provide the best possible assistance to users.